Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we have a new friend joining us today and uh, she is very passionate about uh, brain mapping and that's one of the reasons she has moved from you know, her uh, long tenure, almost close to one and a half decade of experience in you know, cruise, uh, you know, working or you know, traveling the world, she's decided to move into this. So let's hear more uh, from uh, Prapurna as to why she chose from cruise line, you know, to, uh, you know, brain mapping and, you know, what really inspired her to get into this. So thanks a lot, uh, Prapurna, for joining us. So would you like to tell our friends uh, as to what happened? What What is that transformation? And we would love to hear more about you as a person and then, you know, your passion. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ravi, for the wonderful opportunity, uh, you know, given by Work TV and the team. Um, I am a hotel manager. I, after completing hotel management, I, uh, you know, wanted to get into cruise line very badly, very desperately, uh, because the the, the entire uh, work fascinated me so much. And as I went into cruise line, I realized that I, I, I had a passion of becoming a chef, but uh, I could not survive inside in the kitchen. But there was a burning desire in me to work as a chef, and I really could not meet the expectations that is required. Could be, could be, you know, I was not prepared enough. I did not prepare myself is what I I was thinking. And later on, after uh, the entire uh, journey, I came back to India for uh, you know after my marriage, and I was wanting to get into employment because that was what I was looking at. Uh, but the but the situation did not uh, happen that you know I could get placed in an employment. So I was tra wanting to do something at home. I was browsing online as to what I can do, and eventually I bumped into uh, you know uh, this concept of brain mapping. I got the assessment done for myself, and that's when I realized that you know I can be a better entrepreneur. So I kickstarted my journey as a home baker. Mm -hmm. And I was very happy with the, with what I was doing. The first cake I baked took me 24 hours. It was a three-tier cake. I was so happy for, you know, working 24 hours. I was not tired. I only had a rest of about four hours. And that is when I realized passion is very important for any of us to, to be happy and fulfilled. And uh, I, I never had any intention of getting into brain mapping or, you know, taking that as my profession. After this journey, it so happened that when I put my son in school at the age of three, when he was three years old, uh, there was a lot of challenges, uh, you know, with him writing uh, and also challenges in making him write as well. So the, there was a uh, occasion where, you know, the, the, the teachers and the tuition teachers, everybody started saying that he needs to be subjected to a psychological counseling or put into some, some kind of a therapy. Since I've already experienced the, uh, uh, you know, brain mapping, benefits of brain mapping, I did subjects, subject my son to the assessment and found out that his fine motor skills was lacking. That was the only thing why he was not able to write because for writing, we need the fine motor skills, which every one of us has as a you know, skill set in ourselves. And apart from that, the second uh, area which was hindering him was the uh, visual, auditory and the kinesthetic learning styles. Out of the five senses we have, we use three for learning, which is the visual, auditory, and the kinesthetic. My son was more of an auditory learner, but his visual ability was lacking. Due to which, when the teacher was writing on a blackboard, he was having a white piece of paper with red and blue lines, which completely made no sense to him as, the, as to how the lines go from where to where. So the counselor only gave us you know, few suggestions as to you know, just by a white marker board, ensure that the teaching and the learning styles align. Within three months of doing this, my son was able to write normally and whatever behavior challenges he had been going through because he was, you know, a cornered saying that you are a disabled person. So he came out of all those challenges as well. So that is when I understood there's a lot of difference between a disability and a difficulty. He only had difficulty which need to be addressed the way the child prefers, not the way, you know, the, not a standardized system. So after his, uh, you know, behavior changes, after his phenomenal transformation into his, and I also saw the amount of interest he started showing in studies. So that's when I realized, you know, this is something that I need to help other parents to identify their children's innate uh, potential so that they can also have a very blissful, satisfied, happy parenting as well as a childhood. 
so for for a layman uh, what 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 is brain mapping you know for somebody who doesn't understand you know i'm hearing it i mean i've heard it but i've not got into the definition or you know what exactly it means for a layman what what does it mean okay genetically just like how we inherit physical features from our ancestors from our parents we also inherit a lot, a lot of psychological and um, uh, you know uh, talents and passions from our ancestors it could be directly from our immediate parents or from you know two, two, two three four generations ahead also so we are not concerned as to from where which generation we have inherited but we are concerned as to what we have inherited so that is what we this entire brain mapping uh, you know assessment tool helps us identify and it is also possible to find out exactly let's say for example between badminton and uh, shuttlecock and tennis the games look similar but then there is a very slight difference that is required to play each of the game so we can identify whether a person is good or fit enough to play uh, to get into team sports or individual sports or what is that he or she is capable of doing in terms of everything starting from the skill set to the emotional quotient to the failure handling capacities of a person to the intelligences that one possesses a detailed analysis of you know how i can help myself superb so this is uh, so you're not only talking about kids but this applies to you know people at any stages right any uh, any age group absolutely this is applicable for anyone starting from 2 years up to 99 years of age wow so kids especially with respect to their learning if they have any challenges they can do that uh, yes. kids who are basically you know i think uh, you know at the 10th 10th uh, class i think that's where you exactly. know, take decisions switch between switch gear between what they really want to do and yes. i think you know when they're taking graduation post graduation which job to take which function to specialize like i think most of the mba exactly. whether you want to get into finance or you are a typical sales guy or uh, you you want to just be a sedentary guy any anything which is related to a, a basic office job you can you know sit and do uh, some of these things can be i think determined so very true very true uh, no, not only that it is uh, it is not applicable for people only with challenges but anyone to know how what is my best learning style so that i can allocate it is not important as to how long i study even if i study for 30 minutes how effectively i study is what is important so how can a person allocate his time in effectively studying is what we can help them with so that they also can allocate time in studying and and also deviate into other activities like sports or dance or any other extra curricular activities yeah and as well, you rightly mentioned 10th class is the right age to get into the career uh, part of it as well yes yeah so uh, what what benefits you have seen i mean uh, transforming people what what results or you know uh, stuff miracles which you have seen in this particular journey i've seen a lot of uh, miracles one is uh, uh, the the bonding between the parent and the child has increased tremendously after this because the parents expectations are uh, i know the parents basically set their expectations right they may have high expectations or hope on the children or maybe, maybe they have incorrect expectations from the child the moment they know this is what i can expect from the child and the child also is able to give that expect meet the expectation so their bonding levels has increased is one and the second one is we have had children it tremendously increase their self confidence because they exactly know what is my strength what where do you know how do i play within my strength so the children have had a tremendous uh, increase in their self confidence level and their academic performance have have been increased as well because they know that, that there's there's no need to be you know uh, someone pushing behind them they are on an auto mode now they say okay mama this is what i'm going to do and this is how i'm going to do and now that the parents also know that you know this is what the child is capable of doing and we give give them the freedom to do it and they get it done by themselves so the parents are happy and the children are happy and there is no rift between the parents especially the rift that happens during the teenage that is overcome uh, you know with a lot of uh, families that we have come across with yeah so most of the parents you know expect the kids to be intelligent you know what one of the things benefits which uh, brain mapping you mentioned in the introduction intelligence so you know how do, how do we measure that you know and what are the common things parents expect from you uh, you know saying that this this is the result we are expecting so 
So uh, when it comes to intelligence, there are two things that we need to understand. One is a skill set and the other one is the intelligence. Let me take the example of a cricket team. So everybody in a cricket team, uh, you know, the 11 or 12 of them need to know how to bowl, how to bat, how to field. And, you know, that is a skill set, which is everybody performing a certain activity need to have is a skill set. But the moment we say batting, we have only few players coming into our mind. Is it not? Right. So that is the techniques to use the use the skill set is provided by intelligence. So it is also re recently found by Dr. Howard Gardner that every one of us have eight different intelligences present in us. So if you and I have the same intelligences, what sets us apart is the dominance of the intelligence. I may have one intelligence dominating followed by the other. There is also supporting intelligence, supporting skills that we look at. So, you know, we look at various aspects in, in identifying what will be suitable for this person. Let me let me ask you a question uh, to perform a sport or a dance activity. Don't you think we require the same amount of body movements, same amount of effort, same amount of stamina? Yes. So so but uh, we always find that people who perform sports are unable to do dance and who perform dance are unable to do sports yeah. equally good. Why do you think that is? Yeah, I think. Uh... It, 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 we can't do it. Like some people cannot dance. Like I cannot dance. I, I can maybe do one or two movements when I'm, when I'm on a stage or, you know, in a disco. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it's, you know, even I practice, I go to a dance session, I think I'll not be able to dance. So uh, why? Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> So the, the, the primary difference is the creativity and the logical ability of the person. Sports is more to do with logics because there is boundary. They exactly tell you what you need to do, how this particular thing has to be performed. And within the limits, they use their own intelligence and skills to perform that particular act. Whereas dance is related more to creativity. You know, there's freedom in it for you to do as you wish, you know, as you move, you know, th th that is what is the difference between a creativity and a logical person. So a person with high body intelligence and skill, mm -hmm. depending on whether he is logical or creative, will be, will be, you know, choosing that particular, if, if you know, no uh, conditions or situations are constraining him, he will naturally choose the way he is made of. But the, the challenge happens only when there is influence either from the parents or from the society or from the peers that, you know, they, they, they change their course of uh, action during the course. Okay. But, you know, we, we still see, you know, they'll, uh, you know, forget about the state or, you know, a specific state or any specific language in India. We see a lot of celebrities or actors or actresses. They're pretty good. You know, maybe, you know, it's coming, you know, they're either good at acting, very bad at dancing. Can a brain mapping change the way they dance? Hey. It certainly it certainly helps because we will exactly know what is the challenge so that you work on the challenge. And the best blessing that humans has have uh, uh, as humans we have is something called as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is nothing but the moment we are subjected to a certain field or certain uh, experiences, we tend to observe that into our system. And we never tend to forget that. So, but but we, we cannot keep doing everything. We cannot master everything. We need to, you know, we need to, uh, you know, ensure that what we are doing and the effort that we are putting in is all aligned to what we actually want to achieve. Got so it. we first set a target. If you want to improve dance, okay, you also need to have music sense. If you don't have music sense, then there is no point, you know, trying hard only with practicing dance, getting into a dance school. So then simultaneously develop your musical skill as well. And the choice certainly lies with the person who is actually, uh, you know, wanting to do this improvement or a change in it. Because if you if you choose your natural course, it's more like a cakewalk or a skating. But if you want to make any changes, yes, you will eventually land up there, but it is going to be a tough ride. So the choice is yours, whether you want to have a skate or you want to, you know, ride up the mountains. So what, what are the common challenges you see, Prapurna, uh, in the industry, you know, with respect to youth, kids, since, you know, kids are uh, the future. So what, what are the common challenges which you see? Where are we lacking? Why are we opting for, uh, you know, such programs where we are trying to know about ourselves as to what we are. So why are people not doing it? 
the the uh, reason why people are not doing it is they uh, many of the parents the, the, the constraint or the challenge is not with the children but with the parents mindset the parents uh, you know already think that let's say currently what what they look at is 10 years down the line when you get into a career what is the best suitable uh, option of career which will give you enough money so that you can survive so many of us are focusing on what is going to be trending and running up and running in that particular situation and that is how we have lot of engineers now today in our country and uh, you know the, the entire engineering industry is overflowing so that we don't have enough uh, you know jobs for them so that is why now engineers get into a lot of other jobs and if we start look and now the trend is the focus is on artificial intelligence robotics and uh, you know those kind of a profession i'm not saying those are wrong they, those are the right profession for the people who are born to do with it but then the, there are other jobs which will also survive uh, a job like accounting will certainly be there and there will be lot of other jobs which, which will still be yeah so you... we'll have to look at uh, you know what is that particular thing that i am suitable for if i'm okay. happy in something then i will i will certainly earn money and uh, you know being happy is what will help us uh, progress yeah you you have to be happy and that's when you will be successful or you'll really do a good job whatever you're doing you're going to work i think if you'll do a good job so what, what what about the youth you know what what do you think uh, you know they they don't have a burden of parents and you know they can take a call and a lot of people struggle when they go to work you know in terms of performance and all that uh, what do you suggest for them this will help them uh, do what okay this will help them uh, have a self awareness a self introspection so the, the moment a person knows that yes this is what i am capable of Uh, currently what every youth is doing is take every opportunity that comes in uh, comes their way thinking that you know opportunity knocks once but if you can pick and choose your opportunity to suit you then the the opportunity you need not go looking for opportunities you will be very happy you will also reach your goal in the process of you know uh, whatever opportunities you are looking for so this is how this will help the youth in understanding okay this is what i need to do and uh, they need not be fascinated with all the fancy stuff they need not be carried away they, they will say no this is what i want to do exactly they can have assertiveness in saying i want to pursue this profession and they'll give their 100% in whatever they've chosen once they are convinced once the that uh, you know the convention is happening within themselves saying no i am a good chartered accountant i will make a good chartered accountant i'll be a better doctor or the best doctor so whatever profession it is it, it they the whenever they are convinced that they can be the best in that profession that is when they'll also give the 100% and it is not important that you know they only study that the studies is only a portion that that's only a qualifying uh, you know uh, uh, a qualification to get into the profession but what how will you survive in that profession many of us think it's only four year course it's only a five year course and get into the get into the studies but after that the profession they fail miserably yeah i i completely agree with you so uh, you know you you moved from cruise uh, cruise lines to you know this particular thing so when after completing the brain mapping uh, you know study uh, so did you relate back with you know the experiences with people because this is I part of the patients and relating it you know so yes. how frequently you go back and you know relate to what happened uh, you know in the past yes uh, as i as i began i told you that you know i wanted to be a chef but i certain i could not survive in in the kitchen so that was because my again the the ability as a skill set my body intelligence is not higher whereas my in, uh, my intelligence in terms of naturalistic intelligence was higher that's why i preferred cooking but i was my body was not supporting me with the strenuous work that is actually happening in the kitchen so there was a mismatch with my intelligence so now what i do is i focus on uh, you know uh, a small when i'm when i'm stressed the first thing i do is i cook so i still keep in touch with whatever is my intelligence whatever is my you know the 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 soul's food i would say my craving for my soul is that and i do that at a smaller level so that i don't stress myself out but i'm still in touch with that i derive happiness from doing that and i expel it i use it to do things that i really don't like to do that's a, that's how we balance our body mind and soul okay so can you can you make out uh, seeing a person you know while talking as to what, what are the traits uh, the person has 
or you know you have to wait for the results yes we certainly need to wait for the results yes to a certain extent we can identify that but there is also a possibility that in the due course of their life they may have changed a lot of those attributes so it's it's practically not possible to you know just look at a person or have an interaction with them to say okay this is how you are and this is who you are but uh, the moment we have the uh, the analysis analysis tools assessment tools and uh, you know the inputs taken and we do that then it becomes very helpful to say exactly who you are what you are and what is best for you thank god thank god <laughs> i thought you know you know there is parallelly some assessment going on uh, prapurna is like also assessing ravi in terms of you know how you know how he is as a person so thank god you, you know it needs a written test yeah but and when you when you spoke about this ravi i would also like to uh, reiterate that you know uh, uh, today uh, hr recruitment hr uh, you know uh, recruiters or corporates who recruit in in larger quantities they also need to know what is the underlying fact of this person how this person can he- be helpful in right. this particular organization so the goals of the uh, the employee and the employer is aligned so both of them are happy and the journey is smoother so the transitions the attrition rate of the the corporates or the or the any organization for that matter is cut down yeah i agree with you you see uh, you know as corporates we spend a lot of money hiring people you know we feel that only recruitment cost is the only cost you know paying the agency or you know you i think you you spend you know a uh, few more hours few more thousands of bucks and uh, get that person assessed you don't have to you know have the pain where you know your you know that person is not performing you have some you know other uh, you know understanding of the requirement they have some other understanding of the requirement so i think those disappointments from both the ends and wasting the time you know that's i mean you, you you can always throw back uh, the employee after 3 months but you know that's not expected you you're right you know disappointing him and his family and you're also you've lost 3 months so i i completely agree with you that this extra step of few hours or a couple of tests should make a lot of difference in terms of hiring because i've been hiring for a while so i agree with you you know people join i want this job but after they join they they are not really happy with the uh, role they have to play on a day to day basis so they are depressed they are disappointed and the company has the right to get squeeze because they've hired squeeze everything out of the employee and you know that doesn't happen naturally so they complete that, that that is why i don't do any assessments you know while talking to a person or interacting with them because th- th- uh, there's always possibility that you know that may not be the best or the right uh, uh, result that i can analyze of true and right now uh, talking about this point uh, prapurna right now this is very critical for anybody who is hiring because everything is performance driven right. nowhere you know immaterial they, it, you are in finance or hr you know all of these things are performance driven no more those okay i will only do sedentary job where i have to send couple of emails i have to just take care of few of the files and my job is done you know i think gone are those days so everything is result oriented performance oriented and people are uh, unfortunately not prepared for it so i see a lot of colleges they they only focus on communication skills and interview skills but you know they're not ready that the world needs performance otherwise you will not survive in whichever role you're taking whichever stream whichever department you're getting in so true it is not only the employer is looking for performance even the employee or mm-hmm. every individual is looking to perform everybody has the craving to achieve something do something substantial and that potential is always in there so let's take an example of an engineer for that matter to complete the four years of study he has to put in so much of effort he or she has to put in so much of effort it is not that they lack knowledge they have the knowledge they have the potential they have the skills that is why they complete the course but once or after they complete the course they are not able to survive because that doesn't match with their personality Hmm. good N- nice way you are advocating the other side <laughs> i was taking side of the company and you know uh, yeah this is the right perspective because until unless they know their skill set and you know they they uh, i think the entire purpose which you are talking about is he should identify what is his strengths and work on that and you know which will help him his, his career and many many students that i have come across also have a lot of other uh, areas where they are uh, basically very good at let's say it could be uh, music or dance but once they get to the 9th standard they all those extra curricular activities are cut down 
Hmm. In this situation, what actually happens is once the child is curbed of what what is so passionate to them, what is so close to their heart, neither do they perform good in their studies nor are they happy in their life. But rather, if we give them that, you know, you continue doing whatever you like to do, be it sports, dance, whatever, whatever extracurricular activity we have already, you know, subjected this child to, whatever is close to the heart, they derive energy from, uh, you know, uh, this particular doing this activity and they use it towards their studies. So when they do that simultaneously, their academic performance will improve. But cutting down on the activity will certainly not help them in their academic performance. They'll only have that lackingness in them, the longingness to get back to music or whatever they were good at. Okay. Now, now talking about this particular brand, uh, the company which you have floated, you know, what what are the services, uh, you know, where people or friends or you know their kids, they can you know get in touch with you for help. The, uh, for we have uh, uh, we we cater to different age groups and uh, the first is i would say the formative years which is the 2 to 10 years of age at this age group as parents we would like to know what is a child's uh, you know how do i help my child understand uh, his own skill set is one and how do we help the child without the child having to do anything or you know be, be basically making the child aware that certain th- kind of uh, uh, you know programming is being done to him so that can that is possible we can find out what is the learning styles of the person uh, what is the suitable skill set that the child possesses so that they can be put in the right activity because currently what is happening is we put them in one activity let's say music and 10 uh, so 6 months or uh, in a one year we after that we say okay you're, this is not coming for you we put them into dance and if that is also one year again is gone and then we put them into sports and in sports we put them into probably cricket and then after one year we pull them out and put them into something else so in the in the four years the child imagine the amount of effort or the, the mentality or psychology of the child the child is thinking i was not good in music that's why you pulled me out of it and put me into dance and then I was not good in dance as well so you pulled me out so I'm not good for anything so the child is not tasting success at any level rather if we identify that one activity which the child is really good at put the child in that particular course or uh, you know that activity the child is going to perform well experience taste success once a child tastes success that gives him the, the that gives an immense confidence which he will use to you know develop his own self true so true so and the next next age group will be the 10 to uh, 20 where they are in the verge of making the career decision because uh, at 10 years a child will be probably in his fifth or sixth standard so let's say if here if we make a career assessment and we find out that this particular child is good, is good enough or you know is capable of getting into uh, into medicine for that matter so what we can do is we can help him train him to score the required marks in his 10th standard so that he can get into the right uh, stream in the 11th standard because the 10th mark is the you know the qualifying marks once you complete your uh, 10th standard uh, you know and you've decided your career there is no turning back so that assessment can be done and for anybody about 20 years of age you you would have already been a career now it may be the right profession or the not not the right not the so very right one so we can still help you with finding out what is that one thing i can do how do i help myself to excel in my professional uh, performance at this point of time super find out the passion you know that that's what we are about you know people with passion i think they, they each one of them should know what their passion is you do that good one so prapurna we have some rapid fire questions are you all set i am <laughs> yeah okay uh, what is that really popular that annoys you you know which is commonly done either by the parents or the students you know they know it but still they do it uh, that one thing that really annoys me is i cannot fulfill my dream so i want my child to fulfill my dream you know that uh, really annoys me because they, we always look at our children as an extension of our own self so that really annoys me and whatever motivated me will not certainly motivate my child and what motivates my child will not be a motivation factor for other child so everybody is unique we understand the uniqueness of a person that is when we will help them okay. you you've been on cruise like most of the time on vacation for us vacation is like once in a year <laughs> once in six months but you've been always on vacation like 15 years of vacation 
so what was your last vacation when was your last vacation and where was it uh i had been to uh i was sailing out of miami mm-hmm. and we were sailing into uh, grand cayman uh, which is a, which is a caribbean island we were sailing into uh, puerto rico uh, and uh, which is a, a mexican island by name cozumel so they were they were you know we were covering this stretch from miami till uh, grand cayman and then we'll come back again super I I really envy this role you know I had one of the guests a very close friend now <laughs> so she was also in cruise and you know I I feel so jealous you know seeing her photographs and you know the travel so it's like a paid vacation right so you're working but you're getting paid every day yes. and you're you're on a vacation you're traveling yes yes I, and I, again again I, we do see a lot of this unhappy people over there as well but then to uh, you know if you're really looking at Uh, things as a vacation as you say enjoy everything e- e- even studies can be enjoyed by anyone that is that is what we look at here we say it's a it's a, it's a very strenuous job because it's a 365 uh, day working you don't get a, a off as long as you're on the ship but still we enjoyed it and that's why it, that's what made us keep going back again and again and i still have friends who are still working you know beyond 20 years 25 years at the age of 50 60 they still keep working and the amount of joy they find you know when when working when serving the customers or the uh, the guest on board is is phenomenal that's because they happy it's not only the monetary compensation that we get the monetary compensation adds only to a little bit of the joy that we get out of it who is your oldest friend from childhood my sister <laughs> i have a twin sister so she is my best and my oldest friend okay um, nobody else apart from family seven. nobody else apart no apart from her i would say i have a friend by name shailaja who uh, you know i met uh, when when we were in our 12th standard and we have uh, we i also have a lot of other friends uh, to name sureka monika shanti and you know uh, meera lot of lot of other friends as well so i'm talking to only uh, like you you say like better half so i'm only talking about uh, talking with one half is it so what what's the name of other half prapurna my sister's name is pravina and that is how i got my name as prapurna Pravina and Prapurna. Okay, any any. Yes, Pravina and Prapurna. Yeah, very tongue twisting names. Please, yeah. <laughs> okay, any friend that you remember that you were not comfortable, you always had tiff or fight or you know there was some gap, but later you guys became close friends. Any moments like that in your life? No, I I I don't remember anyone of that sort. But what uh, to answer your question, uh, you know, there was always one thing that really fascinated with me and my sister was that. both of us go through the same situations go through the similar kind of uh, uh, experiences but still the way we think was different this was also one thing that always kept me uh, you know fascinated towards how does a mind work because you know going through same thing similar experiences similar situations but we think differently so what is that for particular thing that drives you to think differently at uh, at similar situations so mind works amazingly different and that is that is also one reason why uh, brain mapping helps in understanding we look at the communication styles of a person uh, you know dif- uh, partners we we have helped partners in in business to understand who they are what their differences is and how they can you know align their roles to their personality to the business and they've been doing tremendously well and so we have helped uh, couples with difference of opinion as well to come out of Oh my goodness! So, yeah, too. so there is a difference in opinion. My family life, yeah, I know whom to get in touch with. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. So if you know somebody comes and says that, uh, "Hey, Prapurna, this is the restaurant I want you to run," would you take up that? Certainly. Hmm? That's my that's my passion. Food is my passion. Okay. So most beautiful place that you've been in your cruise career. uh it's ocho rios it's a it's a place in uh, the caribbean islands mm-hmm. uh where uh, ocho is eight in spanish and rios is rivers so eight rivers uh, come cascading and they join the ocean and the, the this is a tourist spot actually where you'll be climbing uh, the mountain where the water is gushing against you from the from the sea shore we'll actually be going up to the up hill so that was an amazing experience which i'll never forget and i certainly would want to try once again i think i've seen this on youtube and it's amazing but it's it looks exactly. like a one stream right from distance but it's yes. actually eight stream right eight stream uh, true super wow 
So you ever thought that I want to settle down there? No. <laughs> India is India. <laughs> okay. So yeah, same question. So why why India? Why did you choose to come back and settle down? I mean, we have a lot of issues, challenges, and all that. Why why did you feel that India is still beautiful to come back and you know settle down here? Um. Yes. Uh, to, to answer your question, yes, we do have a lot of challenges. But then, what's the joy in you know going to a place where everything is fine? But when uh, I always believe that when you are faced with a challenge, God is telling you that this is the challenge you need to work on and you know transform and touch lives. So that's exactly what I'm doing now because I had a challenge with my son. I found a solution and I want to impart the same knowledge, same joy. As a parent, I'm I'm so happy with what uh, you know how my son is performing. So I want to give the same kind of a sense to all the parents out there to you know have a better bonding with the children. Be feel that the child is such a blessing to them. What what is the best compliment that you've received from a parent? Uh, thank you. I, I've I've helped a lot of people, and uh, one such occasion was uh, uh, when I was helping a special child, uh, you know, who was mentally challenged. So the parent had no way of understanding how this child behaves because the child cannot communicate. Not the body language was uh, relaying the communication to the to the parents. So they were so so very perplexed as to what should I do with this with this particular person. So as I was helping them understand the child, they said they all they said was they just cupped their hands and said thank you so much for whatever you're doing and God bless you. So I don't think there's anything better than that. Yeah, you don't need long sentences for compliments, but you know, sometimes a small gesture, just a smile, those those sparkles, or you know, those tears which revolve around the eyes, um, you know, with gratitude. That you know, th- those are enough. I think you know, those sentences need not be there. Correct. So, Any time Propurna got stuck in either traffic or you know, in a lift or somewhere for a very long time. or an island or you know while you while <laughs> you were traveling and due to weather anywhere you got stuck for a long time no i wish i could get stuck like that in kodaikanal <laughs> but i wasn't okay so what's propurna's uh, guilty pleasure which you know most of us you know who are taking your sessions or classes we are not aware guilty is i i like a lot of sweets and though i wanted to cut down on it i cannot do it okay. so that's what i'm guilty about uh, so that's one thing it's it's a pleasure but i'm guilty about you know enjoying or experiencing that pleasure so, yeah okay as a mom if you have to define at home what are you really best at as a mom we are all all the moms are best at everything <laughs> so uh, basically i would say as a as a as a uh, parent as a mother i am good at uh, you know giving the child the freedom to be himself i think that is one best thing that i uh, you know i'll i'll just tell you one example as to why i would uh, you know give that as a compliment to myself is i once stepped out of the house to to you know purchase some grocery uh, for that brief moment i left my son alone at home so he was pretty hungry so he had to uh, open a jam bottle there was bread so he wanted to you know you have a bread and jam Uh, by mistake he just uh, the the jam bottle happened to fall off his strip of his hands and it broke he had cleaned it so well that not even an ant was there when i came back it was glass he you know he didn't disturb me he didn't bother calling me he said okay this is what mama used to do and you know he had cleaned it so well that uh, I, i was so amazed and i was really in tears the moment i came when he, when i saw the you know the uh, jam bottle in the in the trash bin yeah some of That's these things I, i mean as parents we worry but you know when you see they've successfully done that without you know hurting themselves and you know that perfection i mean it it is really you know fruitful to see such things so what what is the message propurna you have for women out there who still thinking uh, you know they want to live their passion you know but they're not able to take the first step uh there are most of them who really don't know what their passion is so what is the message you have because this this series is all about rise and shine for women so what what's your message for them for uh for any women for that matter i wouldn't say you know getting out of the house and doing something to the society be it work be it uh, you know a business or being an entrepreneur that is what is uh, uh, you know achieving real passion many of us may or may not have that opportunity 
if you have the opportunity please go grab it you know at any occasion don't don't let any opportunity pass by but if you do not have that opportunity find that me time for yourself do whatever you like to do it could be in you know, a very small act of maybe maybe performing a rangoli just do rangoli at home every day do something that you really like to do give that time for yourself and um, many of us the moment we become moms you know we dedicate our life to our children so all uh, and once the children complete their graduation they get into jobs that's when we realize that you know we've not done anything for ourselves so start stop if if you are a mother who has been like that who has dedicated your life for your entire family now you know take a step back analyze yourself find out we are certainly there to help but still you can find out yourself as to what would you like to do if it it's, it's still okay to you know start at a very smaller level half an hour a day i am very sure half an hour a day we can spend for ourselves and that is what i would suggest for all the moms out there all the women out there if you are not yet a mom so start doing it now super yeah rightly said so thanks a lot prapurna for uh, joining us and you know sharing your insights uh, and uh, yeah uh, i think uh, speaking the mind out about uh, you know brain mapping because you know most of us are not aware and you know i think we should take those extra steps to uh, check this option explore and you know uh, because this is this is investing on ourselves and that is something which we generally lack we ignore we neglect so thank you and uh, it is very soothing to you know talk to you i think none of none of the entire duration you were like aggressive or you know uh, you know uh, you had any fluctuations with the way you you know discussed or you know explained this so yeah this is, is this is really helpful for people you know common people who want to really understand what this option is all about so friends uh, thanks a lot for joining in uh, do follow prapurna we will share the social handles and you know uh, the page where uh, explore ridge is there so yeah do follow her inspire her go through the sessions and if you feel that you or your friends or anybody family members would get benefited out of this particular program where they get get analyzed and uh, they can know what what are their strengths what are the areas they need to work on i think this is the worth best investment you know more than the smartphones and whatever we invest on this is something which you should really uh, invest some few hours check your, check about yourself and then move forward in your career okay thanks a lot parvina uh, thanks a lot friends have a great day ahead thank you thank you ravi thank you for the opportunity Thank you. Thank you. Bye.